here in the north of Glasgow and at their sister site in Derbyshire. Workers say they've been driven to a week-long strike by the refusal of both managers and the Disabilities Minister, Maria Miller, to address concerns over what will happen to their jobs, pay and pensions when these sites are sold to new employers. The workers have a range of disabilities, but they have a unanimous distrust of the company and the coalition because so many Remploy factories have already been shut down. The government says negotiations with potential new owners are confidential. Unions say they have a right to know. I've asked the Department of Working Pensions to come and meet with the Concerned about Trade Unions, which I sit on at a national level, and have always said it's not their job to speak to their employee. We speak to their employer, they say talk to the DWP, DWP say speak to their employer. So out of sheer frustration, we're out on strike today. The workforce went ballistic when they heard about their pension being removed. We're being treated with complete contempt. And if the government really want to charge us up to continue this fight, then carry on doing what they're doing because they, they are fueling the fire of our anger. And you know, we, we will fight till the end. The unions say only one person's crossed this picket line here, an HR manager who was brought in specially to implement the government's closure timetable and the sale programme for their employ factories. The workers here say management's reputation is in tatters, but if they want to answer the questions that the unions have been asking them for months, they know where to come, because they're going to be here all week. Pete Murray, Union News at the Remploy factory in Springburn.